Hey y'all, here to do a review again. I'm doing a review on a cult classic slasher film that delivers suspense, murder, and mystery. It kind of started the whole I Know What You Did Last Summer revenge type of story. So I'm going to go ahead and swap the front of the case first and the back. About these sorority sisters. Yes. Um, and some of my reviews, sometimes they, you know, contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen this movie, stop the review and watch the movie. Then come back to the review because some of the stuff might be spoilers. Okay, so here we go with the review. It's about these sorority sisters. They plan a graduation celebration at their house against the wishes of their house mother. Um, a prank goes wrong and the house mother is killed. The girls attempt to cover up her death until after their party. Didn't know that the mother's psychotic son has escaped. The psychic ward and it's on his way home. The rest is very entertaining. Um, the best part of the movie is the girls. All the actors are very good, which is unusual for these films. The characters do what real girls would do in most cases as well. Um, yes. The ending was, it kind of disappointed some fans a little bit, but it didn't, well, it didn't too much bother me because I still like this movie a lot. A very iconic shot, yes. Very bloody, which I love. Great moment that was. Yes, overall, I give this movie a yes four stars out of five. Check it out if you haven't seen The House on Sword of Rome. Of course, this was remade, like all these movies are. I've heard of it. I think it's called Sorority Row, but. No, I'm just going to stick to this one. Um, as I was saying about the ending, um, yeah, the ending was a bit of a letdown, kind of. The whole film builds up to this climactic scene, and right at its peak, it ends. Yeah, and, and some, if you... If you like a gore hound and you want a lot of gore in this movie in your slashers, this one don't too much deliver a lot of gore, but it's still a great slasher. One of one of my favorites from the eighties. I'm kinda on the roll with these reviews a, a lot lately. Cause some of these slasher films it's kinda underrated. And they need to be talked about a lot more. So that's why I'm doing some reviews on some of these flashers from the 80s. Yes, this is definitely one of them. And of course, this was also placed this on my um, top slasher video too. So if you want to check that out, check it out. Yeah, y'all, that was my review on House on Sword of the Road. If you have seen the movie, let me know what's your thoughts on, on this slasher movie. I think it's really good. And, and kind of, and suggest me some, some other slasher movies that I should do a review on. Because I don't mind doing reviews on a lot of these type of slasher movies. I will see all of y'all in the next video. 
Take care.